Well, hello there, Tankers of the Blitz universe. I'm Flossie, and today what I will be doing is a comparison between the current matchmaking and the noob matchmaker, which you will get if you have under 5,000 battles. So how I'm going to do this is pretty simple. I have here my main account that has 54,000 games with a 63% win rate currently. And what I will be doing is I will play two live games on this account in the Cron, and then what I will do is I will switch over to my alt account that has about 1,700 or less games on it with uh, about a 65% win rate. I made that account a long ass time ago, and uh, I figured I would play two games on that account in also the Cron to keep the tank the same. And at the end of it, we'll see which of the two accounts is easier to play in and uh, which I can actually perform better in in terms of winning and doing damage. Uh, I figured this would be just a fun experiment overall to see how much of a difference the noob matchmaker actually makes uh, when it comes to inflating your stats. Because I do see a lot of players running around who have about 10,000 games who have just gotten out of the noob matchmaker and some of their stats are like insane because of how much easier it is to actually farm in that noob matchmaker. Now, I just figured, again, this is just a kind of fun experiment, and um, I basically recently have been sort of playing more on my alt account due to this matchmaker, and uh, it's been a lot more enjoyable, I will say. <laughs> um, simply because not only is your team, like, worse, but it, it's not... Uh, rigged against you um, like this matchmaker is so right now what I have to deal with is a lot of better players on the enemy team and then the not so skilled players on my team so it's uh, very uneven right now and in the noob matchmaker it's kind of like the original matchmaker that is going to be coming back out in about two weeks uh, where it's nothing like that and it's basically completely randomized except for the fact that you are going to be uh, fighting and dealing with on your team non-skilled players, as in players with about under 10,000 games for the majority. And uh, yeah, so whereas right now in this matchmaker, you can fight players of basically any battle range and any amount of time played. So yeah, it's a little bit different, and uh, we'll see what we can do in both, uh, in both accounts in terms of damage and of course win rate, like I said before. So we're on Dynasty's Pearl for our first game on my main account, and uh, up against us we have quite a few uh, lightly armored tanks, and uh, so I'm going to hold this position in mid here, and we'll see what we can do. So we have a Sheridan who has been staring at me for a while now. We also have the 183 in mid, which is a very interesting choice, and uh, yeah, their team is not looking too great right now, I will say. Their bat chat's about to get absolutely YOLO'd by our team. And uh, their 183 in mid is not exactly doing a whole lot, but we'll see. We'll see what happens later on. I'm gonna try and uh, get some shells in, but it doesn't seem like anyone's really poking right now. So we'll see if I, can I get a shell into the mouse's turret. We can, and that's a nice shell. Uh, unfortunately for us, our t our team is actually not looking that great anymore. They were doing okay for a little bit, but uh, as of right now, this is not looking too great. I will say. Um, our, uh, our mediums are kind of just dying, and they're not really... They should they should have pushed that earlier. That bat chat should have been dead a lot sooner. But uh, as of right now, he is uh, he just died. So they're taking a little bit too long to deal with that med side. And we have the 183 rolling off to our side, so I'm going to try and make sure that he can't hit me. And we do actually get the clear shot into him, saving our badger and our own HP. And we do get a nice shell into the Sheridan as he does poke us. So right now we're at 1,700 damage, which is, it's okay. I mean, we're doing all right. And uh, hopefully we can do quite a bit more, but uh, we'll see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reload my clip. And uh, I mean, this isn't really a review in the cron of the cron, but uh, you don't really want to fire this thing as a single shot. You want to basically wait for your reload to finish and then dump your whole clip if you can. Uh, although the single shot on this tank isn't terrible, it's just better to uh, actually save your clip and do clip damage instead of single shot damage. And anyways, we are at 2,200 damage, and I see that our Badger is holding mid effectively, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and help this 62A quickly deal with the mouse, and uh, we're going to get one shell into his side there. The mouse is clearly uh, given up and stuck his gun in the air, or not. I, I don't know what he's doing, but we do get all three shells into him, and just like that, we're at 3,200 damage so far. And they still do have a 183 on 900, and a Sheridan, obviously, on 760. So... We're going to be popping our speed boost, and hopefully we can get at least another shell out. 
Uh, I'm not sure we will, though, because this uh, 62A is probably going to farm him quite quickly. Ooh, we do get a nice shell into his roof. And uh, we deal uh, 3,600 damage and actually get a win on our first battle. So pretty good result for the normal matchmaker, and uh, that is game number one. So I will jump right on into game number two here after the game loads my stats. There we go. All right, 3,600 damage for the first battle is not too shabby. And you can see here, like at least for the normal matchmaker it's really a 50 50 on what your team is going to do um what i've found from this new matchmaker that wargaming has released in terms of what my teams do is whichever team yolos and kills the mediums first usually is the team that wins and uh, i found that to be the case more often than not because as you have more skilled players on both teams People are less likely to make mistakes overall in terms of the complete team. Now, obviously, you're going to have the players who just YOLO still. Like, those aren't completely gone. But overall, if you can kill their mediums first, um, that's usually a game winner because then they don't have any mobility and then your team is just going to straight up win more of the time than what it used to be in the old matchmaker that is uh, coming back. So we'll see what we can do on this second game anyways. Uh, Winter Mal here, and uh, our team is going heavy side and mid. We do have the E50M on medium side, which is okay. Now, I'm saving my speed boost for one reason and one reason only, and that's because if I need to get out of this situation, uh, having that speed boost to make myself quicker in reverse is really handy, and it's something that I'm going to hopefully not need to use, but uh, we'll see what happens. So we're going to trade with this E6, and oh my gosh, he got absolutely destroyed. So, I'm going to back on up because I don't want to get shot at by the 60 TP. And um, I'd rather also not get shot at by the E6 again. So, we're going to use this spot haul down. And the E6 is kind of just getting nuked. So, as of right now, once the 60 shoots, I'm actually going to use my speed boost the opposite way I was expecting to use it before. Which is, I'm going to be YOLOing this corner and trying to clear this E6 as quickly as I can. And just like that, we do get two shells into him. And that was a very important kill because now we have the corner secured. And what that means is their team can no longer move up and uh, shoot at our team. So the only thing I really have to worry about is the double 183s on their enemy team. Because those guys can absolutely shred me. And luckily for me, only one of their 183s is actually sitting in that TE bush. And just like that, the 60 TP does miss. However, the 183 actually does stay on spotted long enough to shoot me when I poke. So that's a little bit unfortunate. And uh, right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here haul down. I'm going to keep my gun raised in the air so it's harder for the E100 to actually pen me. And he can't pen my hatches that way. So I'm going to get one shell into him. And hopefully I can get another one in. Let's see here. Unfortunately, I uh, kind of failed that one. That was my fault, but it's okay. The E100 can't exactly do anything against me, and uh, we're just going to keep holding this position. I'm not going to peek that side anymore because I don't want to lose the rest of my health to that same 183. So I'm just going to use this thing like a single shot for now, uh, just because I do have the ability to get another shell into the E100. And what I'm trying to do is, yeah, there we go. Now he's now a one shot. I was trying to bring him down to a one shot for our teammates, but I might as well clear him while I can. So now we don't really have anything dealing with us on our side there. And so far we've dealt 2,800 damage, which is uh, so far really good for this kind of game. And uh, you can see the Kron is really strong. And uh, I will make a review on this tank eventually. Let's see if we can pick up the kill on the 60 TP. And we do. So just like that, we're at 3,100 damage. And uh, this is looking like a pretty solid win for us here. Now normally I would keep firing this thing single shot. And uh, you know what? I think I might as well just wait for my second shell to reload, and then I will uh, shoot two into him. So, oh, okay, or not. <laughs> okay. All right, there we go. Well, anyways, I do get one shell in. That was kind of pointless, saving two shells, but uh, yeah, that was a little bit unfortunate that that first one bounced him, but uh, I will wait here for the E100 to make the first uh, poke, because I don't want to get nuked by that E100, or not the E100, by the 183 sitting in the back, because he's probably still there. So... Oh, no, he's not. Never mind. He shoots our E100, and our E100 does finish him off with a nice HE shell. Now, all that's left is one singular 183 left. And um, let's see, where is he? He probably backed down the ramp. And I don't think I'll actually be doing any more damage this game. But we'll see if we can even get another shell out. 
Mmm, where did he go? He actually might have backed up towards where our 4005 died. Let's see, where is he going to get spotted? Is our 183 going to even spot him? Where did he go? I'm so confused. Oh, what? Bro, he made it all the way to corner already? That's kind of crazy. Alright, well... Bro managed to make it all the way to corner even before uh, our team could get to him. That's that's impressive. But he's probably going to die to that BZ because I think he is running the big gun. So we'll see. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Well, we didn't get any more damage out, but uh, another solid win for the normal matchmaker. So, so far that's two wins... And uh, both games we did over 3,000 damage, which is normally what I aim for in, in a battle, is uh, anything above 3k I'll be happy with. So there we go, 3.4k for our second game. Now what I will do is I will cut the video to when I am on my alt account, and uh, we'll do the exact same thing again. Alrighty, so, oh my gosh, here's the draw. And, oh my goodness, I am getting spammed with draws right now. Uh, I don't care, I don't need this present. But anyways, as I was saying, here we are on my alt account. Now you can see here I have just under 1,800 games on this account with a 65% win rate. Now uh, you might be wondering why the win rate is so bad for a, a literal bot matchmaking account. And that's because I made this account six years ago and I don't really play on it. But anyways, we are going to play two games in, again, the Kron. And uh, we'll see what kind of damage and win rate we can pull out. Um... On this new matchmaker noob matchmaker account so let's get into game number one and uh, see what, what kind of havoc we can wreak on these newer players now this ha this account has been a lot more fun for me as I said before than my main account um, playing in this sort of matchmaker is such a breather compared to the absolute uh, shit show that is the normal matchmaker right now and uh, it's it's honestly been really fun so um, let's uh, let's see what we can actually get in terms of a battle um, on this account for, and let's see if we can actually win two games and deal more damage in those two games. And here we go. We are on Molendike for our first battle on my alt account. So again, we are in a matchmaker that is only for players with 5,000 or less games. And uh, we'll see what kind of gameplay we can achieve this time around. So, up against us we have an E100, a mouse, and some pretty heavy uh, tank destroyers. So what I will do in that case is, for now, I will actually, um, you know what? I might follow the team towards medium side. I was going to initially go mid, but I don't really know what this team is doing. And I kind of just want to stick with the mediums and... Um, yeah, just help them clear that side out pretty quickly. So we'll see what we'll see what happens though, and uh, hopefully at least a couple of their enemy tanks go here because that would be a huge W for us. Yes, in fact they do, and there's the T54 spotted on medium side all by himself. Now who knows? Maybe the rest of his team is behind him, but uh, considering this is the noob matchmaker, I am not expecting him to be with his team, which is uh, you know. A little bit interesting there, bro, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Let's snap a shell on the move. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm. Let's get two shells into him, and uh, he does have some tank destroyers <laughs> behind him, but oh my gosh, he's already dead. And uh, yeah, that guy was not very good, but it is to be expected, obviously, with uh, having players that are newer to the game. And you know what? To make this uh, even funnier, I will check the stats or the battles, the amount of battles that these enemy players have. Uh, at the end of the game to see just if uh, it is true that they do have like no battles on their account but you can see here like obviously the skill level of these players is not great and just like that we're already at 2,000 damage and we've barely even done anything this game simply because their teammates have just sort of sat in the open and done nothing to us so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reload my clip and uh, it looks like their team is just gonna sit there and hold uh, our T-54E1 got absolutely destroyed there, but uh, we'll see what we can do when we load our last shell. And we have the V4 here, who I don't think realizes that we can actually pen his lower plate with the amount of heat pen that we have, because the Kron has insane heat pen. And he got nuked when he tried to back up. Now, they have a no-camo mouse who is currently YOLOing us, which is quite interesting. And, uh... <laughs> 
I don't know what his plan is here, but uh, um, I don't really have much team support with me anymore, actually. I was uh, I was thinking that my team would be here to help, but uh, it seems like I'm going to have to deal with this guy myself. And actually, you know what? I'm going to pick up the clear on the V4 first, because of course I am a team player, and I want to make it easier for myself to deal with this mouse. Since, of course, I don't have much DPM, and he has a ton of HP, so I'm going to have to take my sweet time when it comes to clearing this guy. So I'm going to reload all three shells again. And uh, I'm assuming that the C100 is just going to stare at me, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to get one shell into the mouse's side, and we are already at 3,200 damage. That one, I have no idea where that went. Uh, that's what happens when you have APCR as standard ammo. Sometimes even shooting at the sides of tanks just uh, doesn't really work out for you. And uh, let's see if the C100 is going to get baited by us. Now, unfortunately for us, it looks like we're just getting YOLO'd by both players here. And uh, so I'm going to get one shell into this mouse. Now, obviously, he's not that great at the game, but uh, he's still probably going to pen me at least once. And uh, that's unfortunate. And you know what else is unfortunate? Us getting YOLO'd by this 268. But he, uh, he in fact, doesn't shoot me, which is actually really nice. Let's see if I can get a clear into the C100. Wow, we low rolled that by a lot. But you can see here, we are at 4,100 damage, and the E100 does, in fact, bounce my, uh, my turret there, because obviously he can't pen me hull down. And uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to sit behind this 268, use him as cover from the E100, and uh, try and basically get a clear from him. There we go, we aimed one into his turret, and it penned, there we go. So we're already at over 4,100 damage, and uh, you can see here just the difference in skill level here of the players. Like, I don't really know what this mouse uh, was planning on doing by YOLOing me. And uh, you can see there, even with two super heavies YOLOing me, it wasn't actually that difficult to deal with them. Uh, even though I didn't even have that much team support with me. So yeah, that's uh, that's the main thing I'm noticing from the noob matchmaker is uh, just the... Uh, the difference in gameplay style that uh, enemy players seem to adopt, which is... I find that people on the new matchmaker are more aggressive, and then they'll just kind of sit in the open when they start YOLOing you. And actually, oh my gosh, we did 5,000 damage on our first battle, which is uh, pretty impressive there. So there we go, that's a fantastic first start to, oh my gosh, more bundles that I don't want. A fantastic first game for our noob matchmaker here. And we're going to get right on into the final game, which is game number two on this alt account. So we'll see if we can match that kind of damage. And uh, I mean, I don't think we will because we won't probably we probably won't have free German super heavies to farm. But it'll be interesting to see what we can do anyways. So, uh, yeah, so far we've won three for three, but uh, hopefully we can keep that up. It would be a little bit funny if we lost a game in the noob matchmaker, but won both in the normal one. Uh, I wouldn't really know what to say about that, but uh, let's wait for the game to load us into battle. And here we are, Winter Mal. Wow, again, both second battles were on Winter Mal. So this will be interesting. I wonder, I feel like we're going to be the, on the other side, though. Let's see. Oh my gosh, we're actually on the exact same side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the exact same position on the map. Hopefully, I can ping this and get our team to go that way as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go the exact same direction. Uh, wait, I need this guy to help. Oh, boy. All right, well, whatever. Anyways, I am going to be popping my speed boost this time because, uh, yeah, I don't know why. I just feel like it this time. But we'll see what happens. We're on the exact same map, of course. So, let's see. They have another 183 on the enemy team, but they do have a Minnow and a V4, which are going to be really annoying to deal with if they do, in fact, go this direction. Um, I'm kind of hoping they don't, but uh, I'm assuming they will. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to play the exact same position. We will uh, try and spot out whatever their team is doing. And we do actually get a really nice shell into the VK90's side there as he's trying to side scrape. And unfortunately, we don't get a second one in. That one bounces his track wheel. But the 60 has gotten nuked and their team is actually here. Now, I don't know what our light tank is doing. Um, he should have been flanking at A and getting behind their team. But uh, as long as he's not getting nuked, I don't really care what he does. So, yeah, their VK90 is uh, not doing a great job of side scraping there, I will say. He's kind of getting destroyed. And um, we'll see what we can do against the 60 TP and the Kron. So, as of right now, oh my gosh, their VK just absolutely got wrecked. Oh my gosh, bro obviously doesn't know how to side scrape. But uh, again, this is the noob matchmaker. Wow, the 60 actually got a shell into my upper plate there. Kind of surprising that he penned that, I'm I'm not going to lie. But uh, 
yes, anyways, I'm going to make my way up a little bit more aggressive towards this rock here. And uh, we'll see what we can do in terms of getting shells into this E5 to try and help out our Super Kong. I don't know how that one didn't pen. It went low a little bit, I guess. But uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. Let's see if I can get a two, at least two out of my three HEs into him. There we go. We deal a ton of damage to that E5's rear. And we do help the Super Conk kill him. Now, our Super Conk is probably going to die to that Minnow, which is all right, I guess. I'm going to try and get at least a shell into the Minnow. And, uh, whoa. So far, it's, uh, it's looking a bit weird here. I'm not going to lie. Like, two of our tanks are dead and two of theirs are dead. Uh, both because... Our two tanks kind of put themselves in weird spots, and their two tanks put themselves in weird spots. Like, it's literally, this is what the noob matchmaker is. It's kind of, what you want to do in this matchmaker is you really just want to save your HP, because most likely it's going to be you left alive against a couple of low health tanks on the enemy team. So uh, you're really going to want to save your HP as much as you can. Uh, to be able to fight these guys at the end of the battle. And, oh my gosh, we do get a tracking shell into the minnow. Let's get another one into his side. That was a low roll, but it's okay. We do set him on fire as well. So just like that, we're almost at 3,000 damage with that fire. And uh, the minnow is... I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to get himself into base B, I guess. I don't really know what to say about that. And we do have a V4. I feel like that's the same V4 we just fought. Uh, but we're going to get another heat shell into his lower plate. I think it is the same guy. So I don't think he really learned his lesson from the first battle that uh, you shouldn't be uh, showing your lower plate to a Kron with 374 heat. But anyways, here we have the Minnow, who is hopefully going to turn his tank, his turret, a little bit. There we go. We do get a nice shell into him. And we're already at 3,400 damage. And you can see here, again, the uh, the showcase of the noob matchmakers. Basically, the, te the enemy teams are more likely to just sit in front of you and let you get free damage into them. Like, I'm not even really doing anything different than I was the first two games. Uh, it's just the enemy team is just so much worse that they're just sitting in front of me. And look at this. Like, they're it, completely ignoring me. And just like that, I'm already at 3,800 damage. And uh, I am going to get one shell into this V4. I'm not going to bother reloading my whole clip because, um, yeah, I just kind of want to dump out the last few shells since he's the only one left. And uh, just like that, we're already at 4,500 damage. Hopefully our 60 bounces this V4. Come on, please don't kill him. Please, I need some damage here from this V4. Please, please, please. Yes, we do get the extra bit of damage. And just like that, we dealt around 5,000 damage in both of our uh, games on the Noob Matchmaker. So you can see, I think that's a pretty good showcase of just how much easier it is to do damage on something like the Noob Matchmaker. And this is the main reason why you'll see players with like crazy high average damage on an account that has like 11,000 games because they have gone through this. And uh, if you're good enough at the game and you just make a new account and you are just going to be able to farm the living crap out of your enemy players. So just like that, we won all four games. And uh, the first two, we did just over 3,000 damage for both of them. And the second two, we did around 5,000 damage for both of them. So again, it's a pretty big difference, actually. And it was a lot easier to win the second the second two games. Um, even though, I, obviously, the first two were, were kind of steamrolls. But uh, again, they were harder to win. So that's what you should expect if you are making a new account or... Uh, playing on an account with less than 5,000 games. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and this little experiment that I thought would be fun to make a video on. And uh, for any of you out there who have not yet subscribed to my channel, I highly recommend you do so. It's a fantastic way to support my channel and stay up to date on when I post new videos almost daily. Anyways, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.